and they're down. I do not. I'm sorry. They're not terribly informative. They're not that informative. No, they're not. Um, I didn't get You're probably available online, right? I'll email um, the. Yeah. Were these added afterwards? These sort of. Yeah, these, they're just. You know, bookend surface plantings, and these were actually planted oh, by birds. local school children. Yeah. And this this got built during the winter, but not planted till the following spring. So it was covered with plywood, and the, the same local school children came out and they painted the plywood and you know, tried to make it look cute. Um, in terms of infiltration, sorry, what did you say back here? We couldn't hear you about the plywood. Mm -hmm. um, like we've sort of been struggling with that. Like, why, like how did you decide? And did you do both? Or? We didn't do any during construction. Uh, our next sites, we're going to do it during construction because we honestly don't, you know, have a lot of faith in the test beforehand. Because all we're doing is just doing it in a borehole. We're not even, you know, excavating to the depth of the system and doing double ring infiltrometer. We're just doing a borehole, and we found a lot of variable rates in our tests, which also is going to be expected because the city isn't very consistent soil profile. So, boy, we. we try to put in a lot of factors of safety. We do testing beforehand, we're going to do testing during construction, and then all of the systems that we're designing and building um, will have an underdrain. So if we find that they're not infiltrating, we have the capability to convert them into a slow-release system. <coughs> what percentage sand is in the soil mix? 